Right, so what I have here is the CAD drawing. Uh, these are the shop drawings. I've already designed and put the whole concept together as you can see. I'm just busy doing the final touches of uh, saving it and then exporting it to PDF. You know, just a quick quick look at what you can see here in red. The red is indicating the actual steel column or the steel beam. That's the part that suspends or su supports, should I say, the, the staircase. All the white is indicating the treads and the balustrading. All right, so here I'm exporting the uh, CAD file into PDF. You're going to see it come live now. I'm just trying to find a allocation, which would be 2019 January. The file will now be converted from CAD format to PDF. So here we go. Now it's in PDF format and it is ready to be sent off to uh, the architects, the engineers um, and obviously the building contractor. So that's it. Just a quick little indication of what it is and how the CAD drawing looks. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a staircase installation in Cape Town. This project began somewhat six months ago. We've done the CAD drawings, the manufacturing's been, the manufacturing's been done um, and today marks day one of the installation. So when I get to site, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what it is to install a floating staircase. What it is, it's going to be a single beam staircase with American white oak and stainless steel handrails. Uh, today is just going to be about installing the staircase and bolting it all together. Alright, so here we are on site. It's a double volume. It's going to be there's going to be two staircases. This is the first the first staircase going from ground floor to first floor. What you see there now is the, the very first stringer attached to first floor. That beam across, which is being attached, is the support beam for the landing. And um, my guys are holding up the second stringer, and that's going to go down obviously to the next landing. What you can see there is the guys are just busy shaving off a little piece of the landing so that they can get that, that base plate, that wall plate, so to speak, that needs to drop into place as you can see. Um, it's just resting on the top for now. Once he's finished removing some of that concrete, it'll drop off. So here you can see the guys are pretty much getting it into place now. From here on it will then just be marked and drilled and then once that's done it'll be epoxied. <laughs> 